In this video, I'm going to go over how I use my Humminbird units in conjunction with my Garmin LiveScope to fish for crappie. Coming up. All right, so I'm idling along here. I'm going 3.1 mile an hour. And what I've got here is I've got this 1157C. Um, this has just regular 2D sonar. And then the main thing that I'm going to use this one for is my mapping. I usually just keep strictly just mapping up on this one. And then I use this Helix 10 Gen 3 Mega Side Imaging for all my sonar needs. It's got the chirp, so the 2D is night and day compared to the 2D on this. So I'll bring that up. Let's, uh, let's go through some screens here. So just compare that 2D sonar. I mean, it's night and day whenever you look at the difference between the two units. Um, this chirp is amazing. But let me go back here. So I've got the top button here set just for mapping. So it automatically goes to mapping. But then I'm going to use this to locate my fish. Now I've got all these two units. And then up front, I've got a Helix 10. That's a Gen 1. And all I use that for is to share waypoints. So whenever I mark something back here on this or on this, it's all networked and it shows it up there. So that way, whenever I want to mark a spot, I can go straight to the front and get right back on that spot using the trolling motor. And then I'm going to use the Garmin Panoptics Live Scope in conjunction with that. So the key thing with the Panoptics Live Scope is that it's not networked with anything else so that really the i use that garmin unit for my 2d sonar up front and i also use it for my it's also got side imaging on it i'm not a big fan of that on the trolling motor and then obviously i've got my pan optics live scope on it so i can really target those fish um, once i find them so we're going to go through here and we're going to i'm going to show you exactly how i do this all right so we're idling along here i'm going to zoom in a little bit so I got my mapping up there, and then I got my sonar over here, and I'm just gonna idle on through here and then see if I can find something. I probably should have cleaned my screen a little bit before I did this, yeah. So you got 2D sonar here, I got some fish here. You can tell I'm getting shallower here. We're gonna pull up here. So I want to show you what I'm getting ready to go up against. So I've got all these stumps and stuff up here. So we're going to pull through here. And then you're going to start seeing some of this stuff on the screen. So you got some fish right there. Oh goodness. Ran over a log. All right, so when you're looking at this, you can see we've actually got some brush off to the left and brush off to the right. And so off to my, like a little bit off to my right, you can see we've got a lot of brush here. And I mean, this is just chock full of timber up in here. But the key thing is, is if, let's say you were idling through a zone that doesn't really have as much cover as this. I'm gonna motor up here and show you a different area. All right, so I just came off plane here, so the graph has gotta catch up because it does not read whenever I'm on plane. I've got that mounted on the back of the boat. All right, so we're coming up into an area here where I know there's a lot of, a lot of crud but you don't see anything, nothing here. And so like here would be a good example. You've got some timber here. There's just some fish right there. So you got some fish. You got like, that's pretty much a, that looks like a stump, probably some stumps over here. But what you can do is if I take my menu and I'm gonna make the active paint the upper and then what I can do, let's say I want to mark that spot right there. So what I'm going to do is take my cursor over there. And once I get it on top of the spot, because there looks like to be some cover there, I can mark that and it's going to make that waypoint. So then once I make that waypoint, I can get up here and get on the trolling motor. 
with my Garmin unit up here. We're gonna get the trolling motor in the water here. And then this waypoint right here is the one that I just made so I could go over there. And you see, I've got my live scope on. So I'm actually gonna go to some of these other places that I've marked before. So I got my live scope going here. And I can use the common bird unit to go to my location that I want to go to. And then I got my live scope up here. You can see that's a fish right there. And as I use this, I've got mine mounted on my foot pedal. So as I move this trolling motor, I'm actually moving that transducer. All right, so as we're going through here, I'm going to go back and forth. And I'm using that, using that pan optics to look for these fish on this spot. I did not mark fish here today, but you can see there's a bunch of fish just that kind of like patrolling over in here. All right. There I go. There we go, another slab daddy. That's a good one right there. I saw that one down, down here by the base of this tree. That's another nice one, son! Woo! There's nobody out here, but I'm happy. So if you're thinking about getting the Garmin pan optics and you're discouraged because you already have let's say you have low rance units or hummingbird units already I'd say go ahead and do it because you can seamlessly integrate it So I'm actually getting ready to wrap up my day But I wanted to show you all exactly how I use that because I think a lot of people whew, I think a lot of people whenever you already have hummingbird units or something and you're kind of discouraged because you don't want to switch to all Garmin units you don't really have to you can just get that standalone paint optics and what I will say is after looking at some of the other the comparison videos that I've seen for you know the hummingbird mega live and all that stuff and the the low rants version I will say I think I still think the Garmin's got it man um that thing it's just wonderful and I've mainly been using the crappie fish but man it's been a lot of fun you can really learn a lot about the fish um, it shows you a lot about the color of your jigs and how they're reacting to it um, it's just super cool but guys hopefully this helps you out if you're interested in getting Garmin live scope and integrating it with what you already have um, hope it helps you out as always guys don't forget get outside do something awesome take somebody with you get a chance and I'll see you in the next one